a century. But in the past several years, radio professionals have had to adapt to stay relevant in the face of major technological and content-defined changes. Traditional radio sets have faced increased competition from new devices and means of communication such as smartphones and social media. Raisa Muhammad, who, made her, who has enjoyed great success in various positions locally and abroad within the media industry, has been a high flyer in broadcasting for more than three decades and is probably the ideal candidate to analyze the evolution and the effect it has had on the public. She has since shifted from being an on-air personality to taking on radio drama as a producer here at Lotus FM. And I'm so glad that she's joining us live in studio this afternoon. Hi, Varshan. Always a pleasure to talk to you. And uh, can I hire you to do my PR? <laughs> Most certainly. I do charge a, a good good enough rate for that. <laughs> I, I should be charged. You should be charged for, the, for, for doing it for me. All right. So, by the way, I've got to tell our listeners that you've actually taken time out to ensure that you look I mean, you always are naturally beautiful, but you know, to you, you look the part today for this radio interview. Thank you so much for sharing this with me, Marsha. <laughs> I really appreciate Lovely it. Lovely and green. <laughs> well, let's get into it now. How did you get into radio, and how attractive or substantial was a career in radio back then? Um, you know, Varshan, I, I got into radio by chance because I was doing TV before that. I had just returned, actually from uh, doing a TV in London for two years. I was on a, a satellite, European satellite channel there. And uh, I had, when I came back to South Africa, I was doing uh, inserts for Good Morning South Africa, which was on SABC 2 or 3. And uh, I heard at the time that uh, Lotus, uh, Radio Lotus at the time was undergoing a revamp and they were looking for a current affairs and viewpoint uh, or a talk show presenter. And I just thought, although I'd never done radio before, I was just so excited by that. I thought I'd love to do it. It was just up my street and I applied for it. And I must say, I, I just walked through the admission process uh, interview and, and that's how I got into to radio. <laughs> but from administration to technology, uh, how has technology changed from back then to now? Surely it's a significant amount, uh, but can you talk to, us, uh, talk to us through some of the dramatic changes over the years? It has changed dramatically. Uh, if I think it was actually a really good time to work in radio then it was it was quite the kind of equipment we had believe it or not we were still using reels <laughs> you know the old-fashioned tape yeah which um, is just priceless you know those are the things that they put in museums now um, we were using cassettes mm. we were using cartridges you know for the advertisements um, and c CDs as well um, and actually when I started uh, radio drama which was years later um, we, I inherited the old drama studio, which was used to do Men from the Ministry and Squad Cars. That's back in the 70s, mm. early 80s. And because uh, we had to start drama before the studio was revamped, I was using that old studio. So I was still recording on those reels before it became fully digitized like this one. So, um, and then over the years, it changed slowly. You know, very slowly, the computer started to let... Um, and they were still, we were still uh, using backups in the form of, of CDs until eventually now, of course, it's, it's fully computerized. I think you're forgetting about the good old turntable there as well, which uh, you used to use quite often, right? Of course, <laughs> how could I? Vinyls, yes. And vinyls as well now are uh, staging a comeback. Yes, it's, it's, and it's clubs a, particularly. It's a new in thing. <laughs> yeah. Well, is the expansion of the radio platform to digital changing the way people perceive live radio? I think so, definitely, because uh, what has happened with with the digitization is the distance between the presenter and the public has mm. decreased. Mm. Suddenly, the presenter is not some mystery figure out there. You know, it's it's someone that is much closer, someone you can relate to, someone you can see, because with social media, it's actually a democrat democratization of social media. The fact that now. Anyone can just go on, they can see you live in the studio, they can see Pravina, they can see mm. your producer, um, and photographs as well. And as you are broadcasting, as you are presenting, you're putting stuff live yeah. on social media. So people are seeing it immediately, and they are seeing uh, a lot more than what we were used to, where it was just hearing us on radio. Mm. Now they're seeing all aspects of yourself. You post about what you do out of the studio, they're getting to know you much better as a personality, as a person, all that was missing before. So I think that there are huge advantages for presenters and for the public now compared to before. 
Well, let's get back to the job that you have uh, currently at hand, which is uh, producer of radio drama here at Lotus FM. I think one can easily say that radio drama is the perfect example of appointment listening. But how difficult is it to produce a drama that has to keep audiences enthralled without having the advantage of a visual medium? I'd say instead of the word difficult, I'd say challenging because it, it is difficult, but it's so <sighs> enjoyable. Mm. Um, and, and yes, radio is because it's just... Um, audio and not visual, it just leaves so much more to the imagination of the listener to create pictures and especially with drama. Um, watching a TV soapy and what, listening to a radio soapy are so different because you don't see the person, you don't see the location, you have to imagine everything. And the advantage of that is the listener gets to use the imagination more, but they also get to de decide what a certain character looks like, it's not, <laughs> you know, it's not decided for yeah. them. And um, that's what I love about radio drama. And, um, you know, it's very interesting. I wanted to share this. Someone a once asked a little girl, what do you prefer, radio or television? And she said, radio. And mm. they said, why? She said, because radio paints better pictures. <laughs> I guess so. And it allows you to have a better imagination. Um, 